Capricorn, this is going to be your monthly March video. I know it's a little late. Sorry about that. And I appreciate um, everyone's patience and hanging in there with me. Um, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. For Capricorn, the month of March. It's general and it's not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. Um, if it doesn't resonate, just throw it out. Maybe check out your other other signs, your other videos, maybe even you know other readers on YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, but if I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. There's three ways to reach me, three ways to donate. All readings are done by donation, and a donation is required in order to receive or even schedule a personal reading. The amount that you donate is entirely up to you. There's no minimum, no... Um, no standard, no suggestion, like really, truly all the way up to you. What's it worth to you? All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I cuss. So if that offends you, go ahead and click off. And I don't read in a traditional manner. So if that offends you, go ahead and click off. All right. Let's get into it. All right. Right away. Um, I'm feeling like you are focused and decided on something. I don't know if that's a right something, but it's something nonetheless, all right? I'm getting a lot of like slow down caution type of feeling. Like actually they're showing me a fire hydrant, which I think is um, interesting because that's kind of the feeling I got when I pulled that card. Um, I meditate before I pull the cards. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, so I feel like somebody needs to be hosed down, right? Or, or put out that flame a little bit. Um, or at least have a, a good supply of water on standby in case shit goes up in flames. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, they're showing me nets, like fish, like those huge um, fishing nets. Like they fish with like out at sea, you know, when they're cast on those huge boats where they catch like massive, where they like drag the bottom of the, of the ocean or whatever. Um, yeah, like don't get caught up is what I'm really feeling there. Um, also, like I said, I'm getting like a lot of yellow, like flashing yellow and all I can think is caution, right? So it's like slow down, put out the fire, simmer down, um, not so fast and definitely don't get caught up, right? I also see like possibly wanting to rush forward towards something or someone, right? Um, but be careful not to be making reckless decisions in the process of whatever that something or someone is. Okay. First card out is the um, 12 of water, which is like related to the Knight of water. And in this deck, it's the counselor. So yeah, maybe take a different view, all right? Maybe view it from a few more angles, right? Sort of play devil's advocate with yourself or maybe even a friend. Remember, in these readings, um, the energy is interchangeable. So it could be you or someone that you are dealing with, right? Vice versa, if you're a cross-watcher. Um, so yeah, um, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Be weighing things, weighing your options. Like I said, play devil's advocate with yourself. Try to look at it from more angles than just one. Okay. Um, try to be rational. However, I don't feel like any of this is going to matter <laughs> like, because like what they're showing me, I feel like, uh, you definitely have something or someone in mind and that's that, like you're going for it. It's kind of like this really all or nothing, like you already, the idea is already there, um, and it's not going anywhere. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Bottom line, if I get caught up, I get caught up. If someone gets burned, oh, well, shouldn't have been in my way. It's like real, like, uh, I just don't think you care. Like, you're already really zoned in or focused on something, right? And that something could be... Um, someone making you an offer or you making someone an offer. Okay. I'm just getting this. Don't get caught up in your head. Like don't get, you've got quite a bit of water that came out here. Three cards out of five that came out for water. Um, don't get caught up. Don't be, don't be, um, you know, caught up in your head or, you know, don't be getting caught up in your dreams, you know, in your imagination, right? Don't, don't have an overactive imagination or read into things. Maybe, maybe everything is not what it seems. Um, 
again, I just have this sense of like, it really doesn't matter. Like, I really, really feel like you have a goal. You have a focus. You have a target. Target is the word I'm, that keeps coming, like, target. And that's what it's going to be. Well, no matter how it turns out, you've got something to accomplish. Whatever that something is for you. But yeah, I would just urge you, if you can, take a rational approach. Consider it um, from both sides or all sides if there's more than two, you know. Um, and I say that because it looks like some of you may be involved or getting involved or, yeah, I don't know. There's something like with the third party and options here. So view it objectively if you can. Okay. Don't trust um, because this, you know, is not the most stable energy, right? It's back and forth. It's, uh, it means what it says when it says it doesn't necessarily mean it'll feel that same way in the next five minutes. Okay, so then the three of water, right, could be out celebrating, partying, um, reunions, people coming from the past. That card's not out here, but it has come out for every other fucking reading, um, and it is Mercury retrograde, so it would not surprise me if you're getting together with people from the past. You know, spring is um, pretty much here. Uh, it's It's nice it's becoming nice weather you know going outside for barbecues whatever gatherings that's a thing right um so yeah it could be could be meeting people at celebration something could pop off at celebration considering the queen of fire is the next card out uh just be careful i feel like you're real like ready <laughs> you know what i mean like just dfw Yeah, but many of you have either received an offer for someone who's in a third party relationship or you've offered somebody something who's like, you know, they have somebody that they're messing with, but I don't think you really give a shit. It's like, but I'm on fire though. <laughs> I'm feeling, feeling myself with this queen of fire over here. You know, the queen of fire is, is very sexy. Very sexy. This is now this is a man or woman just because it's a queen um, does not necessarily mean I'm talking to women and women alone. It is just the energy of the card. OK. Um, very seductive, very independent. OK, the heiress, the bachelorette, the widow. The the defined. Woman or person, general man or woman. OK. Um, yeah, but just overall feeling like ready. <laughs> I'm getting this real like slithery feeling. I don't know how to explain that. Very seductive. Very inside of yourself. <laughs> Want someone inside of you. I'm just playing. No, I'm not really. That's really what I'm saying. <laughs> Very inside of yourself. Like, what do I want? What is? What are my dreams? How do I feel? I'm, I'm feeling myself. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Very um confident and just powerful. Like, I can have anything I want. Look at me. Who wouldn't want me? It's like that kind of feeling. And I get this, like, mo Like, there's this real, like, flowy, like, um, slithery. I don't know how to explain it. But it's, like, very, very seductive. Some of you may be dancing in a very seductive manner. Or somebody's watching dance. It's very seductive. There's a lot. I'm feeling like a lot of, like, midsection motions. <laughs> maybe y'all are just having some some real dirty passionate sex like I don't know but I'm feeling a lot of like midsection action <laughs> all right um and then the seven of water with the ten of pentacles okay seven of water is why I said options okay and being in that dream state not getting ahead of yourself not getting too caught up in um your imagination not getting too caught up in your head because seven of seven of cups can also often or seven of water can often be a card 
of a little bit of delusion, a little bit of delusion, you know, dreams are necessary. You got to have dreams to make anything manifest, uh, anything that, you know, you desire anyway. However, not all dreams, sometimes dreams are just dreams, right? That's kind of like with this first card out, it's kind of like there may be a, something here with like an overactive imagination. Um, there may be something you've gotten involved in that's real hot and heavy. And maybe that's all it is. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's not going as far as some of you may think it's going to go. All right. It may because you get the Ten of Pentacles out here, which is everything. That's all of the money, all of the happiness, the home, the stability. You know, that's that's the that's the one everybody wants. Right. The Ten of Earth, the Ten of Pentacles, the one everybody wants, the happy home. The husband, the wife, the cat, the dog, the kids, the clothesline, the, the house, the cars, um, financially stable, the inheritance, you know, not going check to check, everything, everything. No worries, complete, content, happy home. But these two came out together. So is that just an illusion? Not to say you can't have all of that. You 100% can. But maybe you're imagining it or wanting it or desiring it with someone that's not exactly fit for it. For those of you that are already in this energy, because the queen of uh, fire is also very independent, very self-sufficient. She doesn't need anybody. Like, she owns her shit. She's conf like, she is the widower. She is the, the heiress, right? She's uh, She's got her own shit. She doesn't need anybody. So some of you may already be in this energy where you already have it all. You have your house, you have your car, very independent. I don't need anyone. I pay for my own shit um, type of energy. There may be an element of be very careful who you share that with and who you offer that up to. They may not have the best intentions. Okay. And they may also be involved with someone else, but I just don't feel like you give a shit right now, Capricorn. <laughs> and while I'm getting this real, like, <laughs> If you don't want me to feed your dog, keep that motherfucker on a leash then. <laughs> Ooh, Capricorn. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little deeper here. The Wheel of Fortune. Nice, nice. So definitely cycles ending, cycles beginning, okay? Definitely something going in your favor, okay? Whether that's just great sex, reunions with uh, with family, friends, people, um, celebrations, right? Being, being offered something. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a necessarily a shady offer, something that won't last. I'm just saying be cautious. Don't jump in too quick, right? But definitely Will of Fortune is always... Um, it's actually the will of the year. So this could be whatever is happening currently could be sort of a catapult um, event, right? For the rest of the year. Okay, six of swords here. So walking away from something. It's not a water energy, but there's a lot of water in the card. But we're in Pisces season, so... That's to be expected. So maybe your will turns in the positive. You may end up walking away from this offer. You may end up walking away from something else that leads you to another person, another offer. Um, and again, you may end up walking out of a third party situation. Queen of Swords. Yeah, I get that. So you may be cutting out a third party situation or you may be matter of fact, like you just really don't give a shit because I'm really getting this like. If for those of you that are single, it's this real like uh, that's on him. That's on her. Like, I don't have a commitment to you. You better ask your man or you better ask your girl. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, real like just 
if you don't want the truth, you probably don't want to be talking to a Capricorn right now from the energy that I'm feeling because it's real like I'm going to hand it to you. Don't come over here and get your feelings hurt. But with this Eight of Pentacles, you're definitely going somewhere new. The wheel is definitely turning. This is, is actually really positive. I just feel like things are moving very quickly. But again, I don't really feel like there's any stopping you. I feel like you're very focused, but you are getting a lot of caution signs. Slow down. Um, simmer down. Caution. Don't get caught up. Some of you, man, this may be an intentional trap. I'm just, you know, you see these um, ties that she has here. Like, like someone is trying to bind her or she's bound to something or feeling bound to something. Just don't get caught up in any event. I don't feel like any caution I give you is going to matter because I really feel like you're already focused, especially with that Eight of Pentacles. That's a card of somebody who's very focused, very determined to move forward in whatever it is that they're focused and determined on, right? And the Queen of Wands and the Queen of uh, Swords are also very determined and they're very matter of fact, you know? I want it. I take it. I said it. I mean it. That's that, you know? The three of pentacles in reverse with the queen of pentacles. Wow, Capricorn. Okay, we have all but one queen out here in the upright. Very interesting. But the three of pentacles now is in reverse. If that's interesting to me. Maybe you're not wanting to work on something with other people. Work on building something, right? The three of pentacles is all about building something up or a collaboration. Again, it's a number three. Again, some of y'all dealing in third parties. Um, some of you may choose to walk away if it is a third party situation. Some of you are just like, man, fuck that bitch. Fuck that man. Like, let, let them walk away. I'm here. If they were doing it right, you wouldn't be over here. It's just this real, like, into me, into me. Very stable. I mean, I get a very stable, like you're very independent in this reading, Capricorn. You're coming across very independent. I have my own money, my own thoughts, my own sexuality, my own house, right? I mean, I'm doing this shit. Really, I don't want to work with either. You don't feel like anybody's working with you or you're just simply not willing to work with anybody. Maybe because you don't need to. Okay, you could be working on something new as far as finances, all right? You, some of you could be thinking of switching careers or taking a promotion or anything that would involve, a, you know, a come up to a more stable position with that Queen of Pentacles there. But coming off very solid and independent throughout the reading, that's consistent so far. With the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Letting go of something. Letting go of false sense of security. Right? Not holding on so tight. And the High Priest in the reverse position. Okay. Some of you could be coming out of relationships or letting go of the thought that something has to be so conventional or traditional. Right? Um. Maybe expanding the way you think or starting to take on a different perspective, letting go of things that didn't serve you in the past, especially in the 3D, whether that be actual money or relationships in general. Okay. There's also an element of maybe letting go of some of your options. Okay. For those of you that do want to settle down by the end of this, um, perhaps you're really on the scene right now. You could have your pick of anyone and it looks like you have been. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But by the end of this, you may choose to let go of some of those options, let go of some of those dreams, let go of some of those people, uh, whatever that may be to you and sort of narrow it down, um, take a different perspective. And maybe you want to settle down. Maybe it's just not in the conventional way, the way that it always has been or the way that you always thought it had to be. Maybe for some of you, you have been looking far too long outside of yourself. For some of you, you spend a lot of time on other people, raising children, taking care of a man, taking care of a woman. And now you're like, 
maybe that's not the best way to find the true me or my true happiness. Perhaps it lies within me and has this whole time. That's also a, a huge thing for some of you here that I'm seeing. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. Let's get you some love cards. Let go of control issues. When I say letting go, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I see that by the end of it, by the end of it. But here at the beginning, I don't know, like you are letting go a little bit, but you're also, it's not that you're not letting go in the beginning. It's just that you're very, very firm, very focused, like you want what you want and you're definitely going to get it. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Again, that's to me, like what I mentioned here at the end, it's like, maybe it looks like you may be trying something new, whatever that means. So if you were always looking for that, um, traditional like looking relationship, you may be going outside of that now, right? Or if you've always been single and into independence and not letting anyone in, you may be doing that a bit differently now right? You have a few cards here of letting go, letting go of something that doesn't serve you and really taking control, not just control, but responsibility, like stepping up and taking responsibility for what you've done to get here and what you need to do to get out of here, whatever that means for you, right? So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That could mean a number of things, um, and that could work for the good or the bad, right? Perhaps you found yourself in a, in a relationship for a long time because of the way you were brought up that you're now seeing like, that just doesn't serve me. That's just not what I really want. And perhaps some of you have been doing things, um, that you're now looking at like, damn, I wasn't raised this way. Like I need to be doing something different. Right. And perhaps some of you have taken a different path altogether, spiritually or religious, and now you're sort of questioning, all right, past life relationship. I told, I knew it was going to come out somewhere. Past life, everything past, it's Mercury retrograde. To have known, or you have known each other before, past life relationships, okay? So you could currently be dealing with someone that you're having trouble letting go of because you do have such a strong connection with. Or that could be who's coming to make this offer. Or that, that could be this whole thing for some of y'all. To be honest with you. Like, we have a strong, strong connection. We have had for many lifetimes, right? This is our path. This is a union that no one's going to come in between. So all you third-party options and whatever, whatever, like I said, if you don't want me to feed your dog, keep that motherfucker on a leash. Like, and what? It Next, next. <laughs> for some of you, for some of you, not all of you. All right. And for some of you, this past life relationship, you've known each other before. This person may come back around in order for you to heal and release any past heartbreak and uh, fragmented pieces of you, you know, anything like that. So the person's not necessarily coming back or making itself known as a pattern and a cycle for you to keep it going. Some of you it is, some of you it's there to help you move on, to get closure. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of cards. Oh, well, we'll take them. All right, the seer, follow your intuition. I do not feel like you're gonna have an issue there. Um, your secrets are safe. Mm hmm Third party situation. <clears throat> Same. Um, the Sphinx, choose your words carefully. Choose your words carefully. Yeah, there's also an element, like while you're out here at these celebrations and, um, barbecues and whatever else and speaking your truth and the, when this, uh, queen of swords energy and just on fire, just radiating, uh, with this with this queen of wands energy, um, 
And then here with this, choose your, your words carefully. Don't just choose your, choose, don't just choose your words carefully. Yes, absolutely. Especially in Mercury retrograde, uh, choose your words carefully. Uh, choose who you communicate with carefully, but also choose what you allow in carefully. Other people's words. Okay. Don't let other people's words, because the six of swords is like leaving all the belief system and thoughts and shit that didn't serve you in the past, right? Coming from the five of swords, leaving that shit behind, leaving whatever those arguments and, and victories or losses or whatever that shit was, leaving it back there, right? So there's an element of like, just be careful, especially with religious factors coming in, like people trying to question you and your path and your beliefs and things like that. Like, don't allow someone be very careful of just, I guess, who you're around and what you're what you're allowing them um, to say to you or at, at the very least what you're allowing to affect you. Don't allow what they say to affect you, right? Don't just don't get caught up. Don't get caught up. All right. A sly and subtle approach is needed. I bet it is with these cards. All right. And then unseen, unseen forces watch over you. Awesome. Queen of Wands, but it comes in reverse this time. Some of you may not have the best intentions, right? Just keep your keep your anger in check. Be careful with your words. That's just another. Be careful with your words. Be careful who you're talking to, you know, with what you say. Um, things can be taken a little out of context or come up, come out a little more harsh than you may mean, especially here with this, a sly and subtle approach is needed here. And for some of you, you're already taking that approach with that, with all them third parties. But yeah, someone may just be coming off a little more aggressive than what needs to be. And this could be you again, you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay. Ten of Wands in reverse. All right, that's laying down all the burdens. Don't don't worry about it. Don't. I mean, it's also not taking responsibility for your actions, but I don't get that here because what I'm seeing here is like definitely taking responsibility. Like what I did to get here, and what am I going to do to get out of here? It's like this real strong. I'm focused. This is what I'm going to do. No one's going to stop me. Get out of my way. Yeah. I feel like you're laying down um, those burdens, laying down those wands that, that don't serve you. Like, it's just too much to bear. Like, again, I, like you're just really into you. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Six of wands. Okay. Again, that's like, I just see you in this real, like, social environment. Currently. In the month of March, just wanting to be very social, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be seen, especially the way it comes over that queen of wands like that. It's like you are definitely dressed for the EK for the occasion, maybe even a bit overdressed on purpose, though, like you want to be seen. You finally realize that you are sexy whether you're a man or a woman you've either realized how handsome you are or how beautiful you are how sexy you are and you want to flaunt that shit and there's nothing wrong with that like you want to be seen like you want to turn heads like there ain't nothing wrong with that but that's what i see here wanting to be recognized wanting to be noticed not just by one person by lots of people <laughs> Lots of wands for you, Capricorn. Water and fire, water and fire. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Just be careful that, um, again, like I said with this, if this is the independent person that has all of their shit together, be careful of who you may decide to let in because that energy may not be reciprocated, right? They may not be as generous as you and you may be just wasting your good shit on bad people. Just be careful, um, do not do anything in 
the expectation that you will get it back. Again, that's that, these two cards being just a little bit caught up in the head for some of you, a little bit um, more in fantasy than reality, which is fine. And that's what Pisces season does. Just try to knock it down a notch maybe, or fuck it, go full throttle if you want to. It feels like many of you are anyways, but again, just be careful that, you know, cause you don't want to get hurt and you don't want to be given a whole bunch of shit to somebody thinking that they're going to return it or they're going to be faithful to you or they're going to, whatever it is that like, just don't go into it with expectations of them returning whatever it is you give, because I don't see that happening for many of you. At least not yet. Right, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Like I said, you're coming out. You are walking through the gate. I don't know, shit, I'm coming out. Some of you are coming out of the closet, quite literally. <laughs> Some of you are just coming out of your shell. Some of you are just done, you know, being inside. For those of you that have been in hermit mode or or uh, locked down or pinned down by previous relationships that you're now realizing um, is not truly what you wanted, right? Whatever it is, like, I'm coming out. I'm about to be seen. I'm not going to be held back. I'm here. I'm taking my blindfold off. I'm breaking out of this cage. I'm free. And I'm dressed for it, baby. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I love you all very much. And I will see y'all next month.